That was frightening. Hi, everybody. So usually I do comedic stuff, but today I'm going to talk about 9-11. Uh, it was an awful day. It was uh, the worst surprise attack on America since Pearl Harbor. Uh, like, it was a giant blow to our country's economy and our culture. It was an inside job. But I'm not one of those raving people that talks about Bush or Jews. I know it was an inside job because there are pictures on the ground from just after the planes collided, and what was inside were bears with parachutes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tim Davids. I want to talk to you about how much I hate bears <laughs> and how to avoid bear attacks. Like, don't go in tall buildings. You can find me on Twitter at 2509 or on Tumblr. I write for Popular Lemonade. I write for the Westward Arts and Culture blog. That's my band. Um, you probably wouldn't like us. Listening to the music's kind of painful. It's a pun. You'll get there. <laughs> Qualifications for talking about bears. Um, when I was a baby, my dad was mercilessly maimed and killed by a bear. Of course, years later, um, I'll discover my mom made that up, and really, my dad just moved to the Midwest and started a new, wider, skinnier family. <laughs> the real tragedy in all of this, however, was my outright discovery in all of this, which, uh, of course, was that my mother is a fucking liar. <laughs> and or paid off by the bears, just like the girls in high school who I asked to prom. I was able to finally go to prom, by the way. I just had to go with this weird LARPer kid, and he was like, you have to adhere to my dress code. Uh, our prom portrait is right there. <laughs> Actually, what's funny about that is I could have put my face onto either of those, and it would have worked. <laughs> they both looked like me in high school, or me now. A um, long time ago, uh, darkness and light, or yin and yang, uh, God and the devil, whatever you want to talk about. They decided to see who was the bigger asshole. So first they created people, then they created porcupines, then they created Charlie Sheen, then lions, then tigers, and then finally bears. Of course, um, this bear is dressed like a ninja because it's a little known fact. Bears invented ninjutsu. Not to become silent and deadly killers, but to make us think that we could win in a war against them if it ever came to pass. Uh, they've been all throughout history. Uh, that's a Freemason symbol, of course, Grizzly's rule. <laughs> that's um, a bear telling Robert E. Lee to secede from the Union, and of course a black bear dropping off a box of AIDS at a village in Africa. <laughs> Bears have a variety of special skills, uh, like the kind of things you see in a Bond movie. They can ski, they can create complex explosives from simple parts. They're cultural warriors, they battle rap, they produce glee, they're really good at camouflage to the untrained eye. That's just a tree, but I see the bear. Camouflage also, that's why they sent the black bear to Africa. These are pro-bear propaganda. The Chicago bears, little panda cubs, which are actually advanced animatronics created by larger, scarier bears. The indie rock band Grizzly Bear, which is not scary unless you're afraid of pussies that make bad music. <laughs> of course, the biggest piece of pro-propaganda pro -propaganda is the Passion of the Christ, which left out the part where the bear commanded us to crucify Jesus. I don't know why they left it out. It's basically the same movie. The bear was a Jew. These are all anecdotal evidence. If you're looking for metrics and science and shit, we can go to the internet's God, which is Google. If you Google bears plus racism, 45,000 hits. If you Google bears plus child molestation, like millions. And of course, the worst one, if you Google bears plus Nickelback, it's like 10 hundred million things. I'm not saying that Nickelback is made up of bears. I'm just saying they allowed them to happen. Uh, yeah, so um, in theory, this is the last thing you see before you die. <laughs> um, all you fuckers are scared of babies now, apparently. This fucker eats babies and revenants and vampires. <laughs> and you know what he calls redheads? Lunch, like everything else. So bring it all back. <laughs> I talked about 9-11. I talked about Pearl Harbor. Well, it turns out that one of those pilots was a little not Japanese. I'm just throwing that out there. And of course, if you're not afraid of bears, which is stupid, I figured I could help by showing you a bear dressed like a clown, because a lot of white people are scared of clowns. <laughs> I know that's what a lot of you are. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I wish I had a big closing joke. I asked uh, a bear to respond to all of this, and all he really said was, rar.
I'm Tim Davids. Thank you, guys. That was awful. Bye.